looks like they're cleaning everything up already. It is about 2 o'clock on Friday. I wasn't going to come here. I started off my day going for a bike ride. Have not gone for a bike ride in about a year and a half. I left my water bottle at home. 23 mile ride. I had to walk the last mile because my butt was killing me. My, leg, my upper legs and butt, they were just killing me. I could not move. So I came home, went to take the dog out for a walk, and we got about 10 feet and she started gasping and choking and wheezing. I don't know what she picked up on the ground, but I rode the bike by here on the way home, and I saw this activity, so I wanted to get it on, uh, on a video. Yesterday they delivered, yesterday I came by here later in the day and they delivered a whole bunch of these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, I thought, they had, I thought they had removed some of these beams, but I don't know where these beams came from. They brought them yesterday. I don't even know if I mentioned this on the video. I don't think so. Oh, they've got more beams back there. So they've got beams here. I don't know what that is for. And I'll do a little bit more rambling soon. I got a hold of the person who is in charge. I think he's the lead engineer on this project. And I asked him, remember at the end of my last video, I was not sure. One person told me there was a metal tank. Oh, there's another airplane. Where is the, come on, where is it? I don't know if it's recording. All right, one person said there was a metal tank that was going in here and somebody else said it was a concrete tank. So it, it's kind of both. What they're going to be doing, and I still don't have a full answer, it's very confusing to talk to people and to get straight answers, or to get answers that make sense. Okay, so there's going to be, a, I believe, a metal tank at the front of this property called a clarifier. I believe that's what's going to happen. That tank is going to take big chunks and sediment and remove it before, or remove it. Okay, so the water... I thought originally the water was going to go into, before it went to the pumping station, it was going to get cleaned and then it was going to pump it across from the pumping station across here, underground, into the clarifier, which would do more cleaning. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but the clarifier supposedly is going to be a metal tank that is going to remove a bunch of junk and dirt and uh, chunks of sediment from the uh, the water that's brought over here. Inside this area is going to be a concrete tank. It's going to have a concrete bottom, which they are going to pour here. It's going to have concrete sides, and then it's going to have a concrete top. And that's going to be the fascinating part. It's going to take them about, I believe, three months to do all the concrete work. And so that is where the water is going to go. The water is going to go into the concrete tank. And I guess it just sits in that tank and slowly soaks into the ground. That's what the that's what the what the confusing part is. That tank is going to be 250 feet in diameter, which I guess is what this circular area is. 250 in diameter by 27 feet high. So I believe this is probably 27 feet high over here. All right, somebody's coming by me, so I'm going to shut off the video in a minute until I finish. Yeah, everybody's bailing out over here. Okay, so the water is going to be, the tank is going to be 27 feet high by 20, let me get that right, 250 feet in diameter, 27 feet high. And supposedly it's going to hold 8.1 million gallons of water and it will slow, slowly soak into the water, I mean into the ground, and go into the groundwater. So there's supposed to be no filtering which is really kind of weird to me that they're just going to have a tank of 8.1 uh, million gallons and that water is just going to... If there's sediment that's still left in the water and it gets to the bottom of the tank, is it just going to sit there forever? I can't find out how they're going to filter out anything else unless that water is just going to be so perfectly filtered out before it gets in. And then at the back, like I told you, they're going to be, well, I don't even remember now, 17, 18. Uh, pipe vents, uh, yeah, vents, pipes that are going to be going down into the bottom of the tank 
and I believe that's what they're going to do. And so they're going to be so if the wa if the tank overflows, if the tank can't handle all the water, the water will go into those pipes, and somewhere it will direct the water to somewhere else. So I don't have a lot of info, but I have more than I did before. Um, so that was the lead engineer. He sent me a photograph of what it's supposed to look like. And then I talked to the uh, guy at the city council office who said that he's seen my videos. And incredibly, the guy at the, uh, the lead engineer has seen my videos posted here. So that's pretty cool. This pile of dirt that's over here. I'm going to have to shut off the video in a minute. Somebody's coming by. Pile of dirt that's over here. They have really knocked this way, way down. But a couple days ago, I said no way they could do this Friday. And there's just no way. There's probably another couple weeks worth of dirt. But they've done a lot of work today. I'm going to go across the street to the pumping station because they were telling me how the pumping station... Oh, we've got a, a, a cement truck here. They were telling me they're really getting some work done at the uh, pumping station. We've got some of the, I, the um, steel beams over there. They've already moved the beams in place. So I don't know if they're uh, dropping cement down there for those beams. And it looks like they are digging on the other side of the street here on Westchester Parkway and the lead guy told me that they were going to start doing some digging also so uh, and that's gonna the pipes going across Westchester Parkway from the airport into the pumping station are going to be pushed in underground they're not going to be breaking the road up I don't even know how big those pipes are but they've got to be massive they've got to be huge so, uh, I saw a couple trucks over here, a couple dirt trucks, which means that there's new work over here. And I want to get some of that in video. Look at all those beams that are in there now. They've moved the beams around, I believe. So, we're checking out the pumping station as we see a couple trucks down there uh, digging out dirt. And that's probably where the pipe is going to go. They'll push that pipe underground from that location and then it will go into the pumping station. So I'm still in my bike riding clothes, soaked with sweat, absolutely exhausted, totally worn out. Is this guy going to let me go or is he going to cut me off? I don't know. What's he going to do? Let's see. Nope, he's not going to cut me off. All right. So let's see how far I can get up over here and see what's going on. Some uh, area of the street broken up. I'm assuming that this is where the county drain is. And that's probably why they've got some of these drains closed. That's probably the county drain that's going to go feeding into here. And I don't know what they're doing here. Is all of this new? This might all be new. Maybe they're breaking open the road. Maybe the pipe is going to go. This is part of the county drain and they're breaking open the street. Who knows? As I said, it's really hard to get info from this place. Yeah, they've got the street broken open. Broken open. I like that. Alright, so let's see what's going on over here. These pipes are not that big. Is this what they're going to be taking? Uh, nah, I don't know what they're doing here. Let's just go walk down the block. So, uh, I don't want to stay out here too long. As I said, I was walking the dog and she was just gasping and choking all over the place. Which, uh, she usually does that at home when she's just laying in bed. And maybe something goes on and she just coughs for a few minutes. For a few seconds but this was just like lots of wheezing so i don't really want to stay away for a long time so it looks like we've got uh this is the new company i guess we got ohl now we've got alfaro communication construction communication why is a communication company digging up the ground are they going to be putting in wiring or signaling that's kind of strange 
All right, so got a whole new group of people to pop on the video. Um, this is this stops over here at it. Well, how far down? Yeah, this stops over here. So this is definitely related to the pumping station, but I have no idea what it's for. I don't know if this is uh, for power, for wiring, for electrical, for communication, telemetry, who knows. So, I mean, that's kind of strange that they broke the road open, but then they sealed it over, kept it closed over there. So, um, this video is probably going to be a half an hour. I did not want to come out here today, and I still have to go home and hop in the shower from that long bike ride. Way too long. Not going to do that again until I'm in better shape. So let's check out the plane. If it's on there, I can't even see it. Very cool. Awesome. That is awesome. I have never seen them do this. Well, that's cool how they get a little thing that uh, clamps in there. Very neat. We got some guy running over here. He'll be famous on the tube as a jogger. That's yeah, doing a lot of research. I don't know if I'm going to go with the uh, 4K video on YouTube. There's a lot of, a lot of talk stands out here. Now. So, um,. Yeah, this is cleanup time. Everybody's packing up. All the, uh, most of the signs on the street are gone. Uh, there, there's another plane. They are taking off. I'm going to come down here and next week and shoot a uh, video of the planes. Okay, so there's going to be a building here for the pumping station. I don't know if the building is housing the pumping station or if, that, how, uh, if the pumps are going to be underground or if they're going to be above ground. Um, but there's going to be a little, uh, a small building, well, not that small, but there's going to be a building over here. And that's probably what these beams are for. Steel construction. All right. The guy's got a grinder over there. He's smoothing down. Can I get that on video? It's so hard to see when I'm recording. He's grinding the ends of the... Of the, of the beams. See how shiny it is? You would think they would do that before they were delivered here. That way they could do it in a shop after they put them together and really grind them and clean them up. But I guess not. Okay, so concrete truck over here. I don't know if he's already dropped his load or not. Let's look across the street. I, drove, I rode my bike behind this thing, and this goes for a really far, hundreds and hundreds of feet. But they're really breaking down this big, massive pile of dirt, and they're probably just going to take the whole thing out of here. So I definitely want to cross. This is major traffic now. It's Friday, rush hour. Everybody is speeding to get home. Okay, it's clear. That's awesome. Check that out. Okay, so I'm going to post this thing tonight. Obviously, more people know about the video from the city, to the people that are designing this, to the uh, city council office, to the employees working out here. 
at OHL and sanitation and engineering for the city and Bonin's office and Matthew at Bonin's office and who he, I, he's somebody named Heather that I haven't talked to yet. If you're watching this, Heather, hi. And uh, I believe he said right now they're getting permits to do the concrete work in the pit. I'm not sure that why that wasn't already done a long time ago, unless you have to wait until right before you're going to do the job. But they're pulling permits now for that. Um, so that's going to be a fascinating thing to watch them create those concrete, the concrete base. I asked him, I said, okay, so you're going to have a bottom, are you going to have walls? And he said, yeah, well, the walls, they're, they're going to be walls, but the walls that they're going to be put up here are mostly going to be supporting structure for the top. So there, it's not like there's going to be a lot of wall around here. I don't know if they're going to be walls just around the perimeter or if they're going to be walls going in between for support. But uh, that will be a neat thing to watch as they do it. And we're going to be March, April, May, June. So that's going to be right in the middle of summer. So hopefully life is good for all of us then and we're all healthy and uh, no problems with family or health or finance. And they'll be able to come out here and record this stuff and document it so people can see it. And I guess that's it. So have a good weekend, everybody. Remember to do that. Thumbs up. Ooh, there's a little squirrel running down the street. Thumbs up, subscribe, like, share this video. I just read that uh, video sharing and comments and likes are really big for rating a channel. So, and that's what it's all about is making sure that my channel is awesome. Isn't that true? Okay, so... Can I get that on video? I don't know if you can see that well. I can't even see if I'm recording it well. But you can see on the right side that depth 27 feet, diameter 250. That's on the right. That's really what we're looking at down here. And then we've got those pipes. See that purple thing? The purple stuff, the pipes. I think it's a 17 or 18, I don't know. Those are going to be for overflow. And then, what does it say? What does it say? Pre-treatment facility. That's going to be where the clarifier is. The pipes are going across foul mouth. Uh, in, the, in the middle, going over to the left, where there's going to be... It says wet well and pump at facility. So you can see that water is coming. I think you can see. Water's coming out of the two county storms and the LA City thing from the airport, and then it all gets treated. See you Monday, everybody.